the horror stories that I'm reading from the public is just frightening. It's heartbreaking. The, the horror stories like those you've already told us of people who are risking going out of business because of this charge. There are so many companies going out of business, sole traders particularly, uh, the elderly becoming prisoners at home. We have people that are quite frankly, suicidal. Um, people have been writing to the mayor's office and have had replies telling them that they should uh, contact MIND. Um, and I just find it really frightening that the, pub uh, the mayor is not listening to the public. Um, I'm grateful that finally Richard Shunak has come out and said that he will, um, he's not anti-motorist. But to be honest, it is day on, day on attack on the motorist. Um, and I just think that nobody's taking the people into consideration here. Um, I really support our elderly and our vulnerable, uh, our disabled. Um, and it's just frightening that you get to the later part of your life and you're being told that basically you need to stay at home or pay £12.50 every day. Um, and I find that really, really frightening. Uh, we're in a cost of living crisis. We have uh, food banks in our boroughs. Um, electricity, gas is all going up. People can't afford to eat. Um, now, Sadiq Khan is offering to feed children every day, uh, free school dinners, but it's in one hand you're uh, taking £12.50 and then in another hand you're feeding the children. Well, why not let the parents keep their own £12.50 and feed their own children? 